Hi! Hello once again. Happy weekend, everybody. Saturday, September the 2nd, 2023. And happy Labor Day weekend to everyone. Hope you have a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Um, like I said, today is Saturday, September the 2nd, and today is episode 1090, part 1. The day, um, days of praise passage, we're going to be knowing him, beginning with 1 John 5, 20. Wait a minute. Give me just a second. Let me get, get my sitting position readjusted, and I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that quick flash. Whew. I had my leg crossed. Not both legs, but I had, I had one crossed and my knee started cramping it. Oh, man, that hurt. No, like, leave my leg, my knee bent too long. It starts cramping and I have to let it. But it is what it is. But... Hope everyone has a wonderful Saturday and ready to learn about God. So, today's passages are, are too similar. This one is knowing Him, and then your um, part two will be to know God. So, it's, see how it coexists for today? So, But knowing Him, 1 John 5.20. You're new here, don't forget uh, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell for you'll be notified when new videos come out. Um Monday, let's see, yeah, Monday through Friday, uh, videos come out at seven, one and seven, and then Saturdays and Sundays. Saturdays the videos will come out at eight and five forty five, and your Sunday videos will come out at 8, 145, and 7. Because on weekend I have a on Sundays I have a, the turning point weekend weekend video. And see so with turning point you got on the weekends you can read either read it on Saturday or read it on Sunday. It don't matter. You can read it both days. Maybe there's something you missed the first time you read it or you could choose to read it on Saturday. You could choose to read it on Sunday. I just choose to do it on Sunday to make it make it a little better. The way you start the week off, you're finishing out the weekend on Sunday, so you can go into a new week. So, but that's the way I do it. So, but then I had that third video. I put eight, and then I moved the second part to. Uh, Part one at eight, part two at 145, and then the turning point at seven. Now, Saturday's part one is at eight, and then the part two is at 545. That's the only differences in the time timings on the weekends. Then Monday through Friday, it's seven, one, and seven. So, hope you tune in to those, at those times. If you can't make it to the, to the times it comes up, then watch it later in the day. And don't forget to leave a like. And if you feel there's something I need to know or would want to want to know, let me know. And darn it, I forgot to do my normal. I forgot the normal intro on my days of my daily bread passage. Shoot! If anybody had a birthday anniversary. Or a prayer request yesterday, feel free to put it in to today's part two video. Sorry about forgetting that part. That was one of the parts I used to do, but and then the same for today. If it was birthday anniversaries or prayer requests, well just birthdays and anniversaries yesterday, let me know in the second video for today. And then on in turn for today, then do your birthdays, anniversaries, and prayer requests as well. So, 
But knowing him, 1 John 5, 20, and we know that the Son of God has come and hath given us an understanding that we may know him that is true, and we are in him that is true, even, excuse me, even in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. So John uses two words for no in this short letter, both of which are used in the final instruction to his readers. The Greek word genoska, genoska, G-I-N-O-S-K-O, is used 25 times throughout this epistle, stressing knowledge that is gained through personal experience. The other word, a do, E-I, then like a apostrophe D-O, or O-da, O-da, O-I, apostrophe D-A, is used an additional 17 times emphasizing mental instruction and comprehension. I don't know whether you could see the words, but I'm going to show them to the, show them to the camera. Um, let's see. Um, trying to read backwards, trying to see the, the letterings. So there's the uh, Greek word genoska right there. And then the other words are right down, right down below that shadow where it says the other word pause it and look at it so you can you can tell how the, the word looks so the intellectual comp well um there is two two uh, points to this thing the first one is the intellectual confidence we know, E-I-D-O, that word, that he was manifested to take away our sins, 1 John 3, 5. We know that we have passed from death unto life, 1 John three fourteen. We know that we have eternal life, 1 John five thirteen. We know that we are of God, 1 John five nineteen. We know that the Son of God has come, 1 John 5.20. Of all this, head knowledge is, of course, straight from the Word of God, and these are the basics of our belief in the work of Christ. And the second point, the personal experience. We know the word genoska, this is the genoska word, the meaning, we know him if we keep his commandments. When we know him, Genosca again, if we keep his commandments, 1 John 2, 3. There are many antichrists where, whereby we know that this, that it is the last time, 1 John 2, 18. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments, 1 John 5, 2. Thus, our intellectual knowledge of God's word is experienced as we work on our own salvation, Philippians 2.12. So being born again is just the beginning. We should grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, 2 Peter 3.18. So there you have it. Once again, we should grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Point blank. <laughs> and, and our intellectual knowledge of God's word is experienced as we work out our own salvation. So there more or less of the main points of the passage. 
with what we just read. You have to give you have to forgive me. I'm not been long since I got woke up. I've been long, or well, I've been up a little little while, but it's like it's just I'm still I'm still weaning from the trying to wake up. So it's been a, it's been a few hours, but I'm still at like it's just been. 30, 40 minutes. So. But coming up tomorrow in your Sunday, September the 3rd, 2023, episode 10, 91, part one, we're going to be desiring our Lord and his word. Beginning with Psalm 19, 1 through 3. And this, uh, the days of praise, this quarter's dis- uh, distributors is Henry M. Morris, Henry M. Morris III, John D. Morris, Charles C. Morris, M-O-R-S-E. That is the one we, if you watched older days of praise video and you see, or dead, yeah, days of praise, and you hear me talk about Chaz Morris. And now listing it as CCM in the letters, and it's Charles C, which is for Chaz Morris. And then we'll also have another, um, the other one is Brian D. Thomas. So on each of the of these uh, days of praise passages, they have the letterings down of who contributed that. Devotion. So you'll have H H M for Henry M Morris, H H M Roman numeral three, I I I Henry M Morris the third. Then we'll have John J D M John D Morris, and then like I said, I'll just talk about C C M for Charles C Morris, which is Chaz Morris. I'm linked in the name now, and then B D T. For Brian D. Thomas. So. But. We'll have our first one of. Chaz Morris tomorrow. Desiring our Lord. And his word. So. Stay tuned for that. I'll get to that. A little bit later tonight. I'll probably do. A little bit later tonight. But you'll see that tomorrow at 8, 8 o'clock. So, coming up later at 5.45 this evening is your part two of episode 1080, 1090. And we are to know God, your daily bread passage for Saturday, September the 2nd. Beginning with Mark 1, are going to be discussing our passage is just, is derived from Mark 1, 9-11 from Lisa M. Samra. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes, but you'll see that later after 545. So with that said, God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023. And I'll see you later. Keep on keeping on and trusting God and he'll keep you safe in all you say and do in 2023 and beyond. And until later, me and Baby Yoda, we out until then. So have a great rest of your Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon. And we'll see you later after 545. So with that said, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you later. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm... You have to forgive me. I'm trying to trying to remember how my my outro was, so you have to forgive me a few for a few days, so till I get it adjusted. So, but until tomorrow, but until later, goodbye. <laughs>